Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. Today I'll show you how to generate multiple QVD files by using Furnext loop. I'm going to cover this tutorial in two parts and this is the first part. Let's say we have a requirement of reading tables from relational database and converting each table as a QVD file. So it can be n number of tables and we wanted to read them into ClickView and then store them as a QVD file. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using SQL Server. However, this can be any database product. So it can be Oracle, DB2 or MySQL. So let's get started and let's look at the PowerPoint slides. So topics covered, introduction to full next loop, directory statement in ClickView, and uh, sub and end sub statement in ClickView and store statement in ClickView followed by a demo. So I'll cover the first four topics in this video and uh, I'll show the practical demo in the next video. So let's get started with the Furnext loop. Let's understand uh, what happens within Furnext loop. Just to give you some basic understanding, loops are used in procedural language and uh, which is used to repeat a block of code until the condition is met. So what happens within Furnext loop? So first, the variable is initialized and then as a second step the condition is checked and if the condition is true the loop body is executed and the loop body will contain uh, multiple statements so here click it will contain the click view statements then the variable is updated or incremented and as a next step it checks again to see if the condition is true if it's true it will loop through the same process and it will repeat the same steps. However, if the condition is false, it will exit the script. If the condition is always false whenever checked, then your loop will run forever. So I hope this makes sense. It's it's very simple introduction to Furtext loop. So let's get going and then let's look at the next slide. So what is a directory statement? So this statement will access the OS file system. And directory statement once defined can be used for all the load statements until we define new path. So on, until you don't redefine the new path, uh, the same directory statement which holds a path will be used within your script. And uh, using directory statements is same as enabling uh, the relative paths option in your script editor. And if directory statement is not used, then ClickView will take the current click view file path as a default path. And let's talk about sub and end sub statements. I've already covered this topic in one of my uh, videos, but however, just some points on sub and end sub. So sub is a control statement as you, um, if you come from procedural programming language, I'm sure you understand what is sub and end sub. For those who don't understand, I think this is a basic introduction. It's basically a control statement where you define and write your logic between sub and end sub and we can pass the parameters within the subroutine. And we can also call statements to execute uh, the subroutine by using the call statement. You don't have to use the call statement immediately after using the sub and end sub statements. However, you can call them once they are defined. Let's understand what is store statement and how we can use. So store statement is used to create a QVD or a CSV file store statement can export only from one logical table. The text values exported in CSV format are UTF-8 encoding, that is a worldwide web standard encoding. And store statement does not support BIF format, which is a Microsoft standard format. If format specification is omitted, then QVD is assumed as a default format. So if you don't specify any format, ClickView will assume that you wanted to generate a QVD file. In this video, we have covered the theoretical aspects of the script which generates QVD files. In the next video, I'll demonstrate step-by-step -step process on how to get the script working. I hope this was easy to understand. Thank you for watching and I would request you to comment or read this tutorial so that I can improve the quality. Thanks again. Have a good day.